we feel more stressed, we feel more worried, and we also reinforce the narrative that there's nothing we can do, that we don't have any options. It prevents us from taking action and moving forward in our life and our situations. It causes us to shut down what could be potential avenues, connections for us to move forward with. We shut them down because we've already decided And not only have we decided, we've rehearsed it in our minds. We've gotten our bodies used to feeling the lack, the absence of of what we actually want to have in life. And this creates more of that type of reality. Instead of focusing on what is not working and how trapped you feel on how many other times, you know, you've tried to make a change and it never worked. I instead want you to turn your attention to the options that are available to you right now. I want you to see that the moment you decide you do have a choice, that um, thinking you don't have a choice is a choice. You are actively engaging in that decision-making process. You can start to see things in a new light. You can start to see different avenues available to you for moving forward. So I just want you to put your hand over your heart and I just want you to say to yourself, I am in charge of my own life and I make choices from an empowered position. Everything in my life is a choice and at any time I decide and I get to eliminate what no longer would work for me. I am brave and I am honest and I remove myself from situations that cause me distress. I always have a choice to feel good to feel safe, and I make joy my priority. Go back into your um, your space right now of thinking about some things that you may... Uh, be feeling you the options that you feel the most stressed about the places in your life where you feel you have the least amount of um potential you feel stuck i want you to just go into that now and let's just assume if you chose any path forward no matter what it was you could choose to be stuck you could choose to do nothing, but or you could choose to do something radical. Let's just assume no matter which one of those choices you made, you wouldn't fail. It was guaranteed to work out. The outcome that you wanted in each of those situations or that you had in mind when you think about that situation, it would happen. Let's say that this is true. And if this is true, In other words, the outcome was already guaranteed. What choice in that situation would you actually be making? Would you still be choosing to do nothing? Would you be doing your current um, plan? Would you be making different choices? If it was guaranteed for you to succeed, what would you be doing? There is a difference between what you would be doing if you were guaranteed the outcome that you wanted and what you are currently doing now there is a lack of harmony there. There is something off about either your perspective, your beliefs, or your actions, or all three. You are not living authentically if there is actually something that you would rather be doing. If there is a choice that feels more authentic to you and you are not making it because you are repeating to yourself this narrative that nothing will ever change, if you are doing something out of fear, None of that is in harmony, in line with living authentically. And you will never get the outcome that you are looking for when there is a lack of harmony. 